Remember what life used to be like on Burke? Dragons. You had to be crazy to live here. But we're Vikings. Crazy's what we do best. And I guess I had enough crazy in me to do something no Viking had ever done before. I trained a dragon. Life on Burke hasn't been the same since. And now my friends and I have the greatest job in the world. We're dragon trainers. Living with dragons, it ain't easy. It brings a new adventure every day. And there's so much to learn. Because if you want to train dragons, you have to know dragons. So, if you hurry, you can join us in the Great Hall where we're just about to start a new class. So that's a grapple. Correct. And you cannot tell its head from its tail. Right, right. Oh, and grockles do not like to be scratched under their chins. I found that out the hard way. Okay, no scratching under chin. Got it. Oh, the, what? Toothless, what's up, bud? Oh, hey. Whoa, a dragon trainer. Ah, a new recruit. Want to train dragons, do you? Looks eager enough. This one's got potential. Ah, you will see about that. Here it is, Book of Dragons. Between these two covers are the most incredible creatures you'd ever hope to see. Some you know, but there are some you've never seen before. And you won't last a day out there if you don't learn the facts in here. Robert, you can't scare us. We've already trained dragons. Ah, this book contains more than just training. It's the key to unlocking a new world of dragons. And I don't suppose you know who started it all, do you? Oh. I thought it had something to do with Bork the Bold. Oh. Well spotted, lass. But before he was bold, he was known as Bork the Very, Very Unfortunate. That's a... odd nickname. Aye, but apt. It seemed that anything Bork touched went wrong. <laughs> Bork was my great-great-great-grandfather. And he started out as a shepherd. But his flock got very small. The fact is, Bork and dragons didn't seem to mix. Oh, no! So, he gave blacksmithing a try. Ouch! And had a go at farming. But he settled on the life of a fisherman.